With every game there comes the exact same dilemma. Who on earth do I play out of all of these idiots? Unfortunately there's no clear answers. People like different things. I like pizza. The next guy might have had an uncle who choked on a piece of pizza and died. We all like different things. We've got to celebrate our differences. However, fighting games are much simpler than dietary decisions. Especially if you watch a video coming from a guy who knows a lot about all of these characters and can tell you exactly who to play. But first, like, subscribe, comment skill issue, and if you're a Nina main, here's a slice of pizza. There's over 1,800 characters in Tekken 8 so it's probably hard for a newcomer to actually pick who they want to play for the foreseeable future. You must first ask yourself, why are you actually playing this game? Do you just want to have fun? Do you like the aesthetic of a certain character? If your answer is anything other than getting better at Tekken, play whoever the fuck you want, because it doesn't matter. You're just here to have fun, so pick who you think looks interesting or has big honkers. It's all up to you. Now if you want to climb ranks and improve all that jazz, I'm going to tell you a guideline of who you might like to play. First and most importantly, I'm going to list a few characters who newer players should avoid like the plague. These characters are either extremely difficult to play, execution heavy, or are just going to hinder a large portion of your gameplay in some way or the other in the long run. These characters are Ling, Kazuya, Nina, Victor, Devil Jin, Steve, and Brian. Ling is bad for newcomers in my opinion just due to the fact that she has a whole assortment of built in movement gimmicks and overall nonsense. All of the stuff I mentioned will not transfer over to any other character and gives you no reason to practice Korean backdash or any kind of fundamentals. As Ling, at least in lower to intermediate, can just AOP bullshit her way through the ranks with ease. Kazuya is a character that is only good when you actually have knowledge of other characters and can punish them. If you're playing Kazuya as a 50-50 machine, you're not really playing Kazuya. Add on top of the fact that his execution is pretty demanding. Starting off with Kazuya where you have to practice before even playing Kazuya is just going to slow down your development. You can always come back to this character but for newbies, not a great idea at all. Steve for the same kind of reasons as Kazuya. Steve you have to have a feel for the flow of a Tekken game to ever be successful. This guy has always had the lowest win rates in every Tekken game despite being a top 10 character since like the beginning of time. Nina, also like Ling, is just bullshit your way to high ranks and hit a wall because you never actually learned how to play the game. In ruler ranks and light blue ranks, it's actually insane how many Ninas I see that can't backdash, sidestep, or anything, and just spam the same three strings in one plus two throw. Ugh. Ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Play someone else for now. Brian is just a struggle. Over the years he has been kind of dumbed down slightly, however he's still a very hard character to play. Execution heavy, hard game plan, like Steve need a good feel for the game, just hard. Victor just has too much bullshit that is fantastic in low ranks and just pretty unviable in higher ranks and people tend to flock to his bullshit because it's easy. Devil Jin, for the exact same reason as Kazuya. Now, let's get into some folks that are actually fantastic for beginners and will help you somewhat improve at a decent rate. The first character and my personal favourite beginner character is Claudio. Claudio is extremely easy and basic to play. Easy game plan, easy execution, easy and simple and strong. He has some great tools to help you get through lower ranks but nothing will really carry you so much that you can just click without thinking. And the main reason why I love Claudio as a beginner character is that he definitely has a skill gap as he is a fundamentally based character. So you can just constantly improve with this character whilst getting wins and doing it without losing all of your brain cells learning a whole bunch of intricate things. Paul. Paul is another great beginner character for the same reasons as Claudio. He has some BS to get you through low ranks, very simple to play and a huge skill gap. High tier Pauls can be actual bulldozers. If you want a more methodical poking style of play, you will pick Claudio. 
and if you want a hit hard move for half of your opponent's life kind of playstyle, you'll pick Paul. Azu Senna. Now I'm saying this assuming that her while running move will be nerfed, because just clicking that alone is a complete carry. However, for the most part, Azu Senna is great for beginners. Execution is as easy as it comes with a whole bunch of long range moves to help you out with your movement issues early on. Plus, at some point your stances will get exposed, which will teach you about the strengths and weaknesses of stance focused characters, which in turn will make you better at the game. Jin, the MC of the game. In Tekken 7, Jin was arguably the hardest character in the game to play. In Tekken 8, it's quite the opposite. In this game, some of Jin's more execution heavy stuff have been made more accessible for new players by simply just making them easier to do. Adding to the fact he got some new moves like down 2 which just straight up simplify his game plan. Jin has now become an excellent beginner character but like any Mishima there will always be a never ending ceiling with this character so Jin is definitely someone you can pick up and improve with. So those to me are the super easy super accessible and still strong characters that are great for new players. This next set of characters are sort of the mid tier difficulty characters that you can pick up if you want to but just don't expect to be good with them straight away as they all take a little bit of work. If you want to be annoying and just poke your opponent to death before blowing them up for clicking a button, you have Law, Jack 8, Shaheen, Feng and Arlissa. All of these characters have great fundamental tools with great pokes and pressure. Law is more on the crazier side with random flips and slides as well as great frames on his pokes. Jack 8 is literally poke the character. All of his pokes have great range due to his size, has a perfect throw game and some very strong pressure tools. Shaheen basically has every tool in the game but isn't fantastic at any one thing. A jack of all trades character in my opinion. And Arlissa, a fundamentally based character, can transition into a complete animal going into chainsaw stance and becomes an engine of destruction instantly. If playing footsies and spamming down forward one isn't your thing, then playing a rushdown character that have fantastic frames on hit so you're free to spam all day might be more your speed, like Dragunov or Reyna. Dragunov is probably the best character in the game right now due to the combination of his oppressive frames and huge combo damage. Reyna is not as hard to learn as the Mishima boys will tell you and has a very fun offensive playstyle. In fact Reyna could fall under a lot of different character archetypes and is more of a hybrid but aggression is the name of the game with her for the most part. If you like playing characters with a lot of evasion and built in defense, Asuka, Lily and Zafina are your go to's. Asuka has some of the most annoying defensive moves in the game, most notoriously back 4 as well as her parries. Lily has the best sidestep in the game and a number of highly evasive moves. Zafina is an extremely tricky character for any opponent to play against in part due to all the crushing properties her attacks have as well as having fantastic movement. If you favour more mix up heavy characters that put your opponent in the blender with either stances or strings you have plenty of options. Leroy unfortunately I have nothing nice to say about because Namco refused to stop nerfing the guy but hey he's still the king of drip. Horang has some of the best stances in the game that repeatedly put your opponent in a mix up and very often at very little risk. If you don't like doing punches for some reason, Horang is your guy. Leo, if you're extremely boring, you can always play Leo. I don't know man, he does mix ups in the most boring way possible, if that's your thing. Lee, now Lee is more on the difficult side to pick up, but apparently his execution barrier has been lowered a lot in Tekken 8. Be ready to stick with this character for a while if you choose to main him. Kuma and Panda also fall under this category I guess. Now if you want to feel very unique and quirky and play some characters with some super weird stuff, there's Raven. Nobody knows how to play Raven, so maybe you'll be the one to actually figure him out. Who knows, but good luck if you do decide to main him. Yoshimitsu, you'll just have to play Yoshimitsu to see exactly what he does because he be doing flashes, unblockables, frame traps, a whole bunch of insane crazy stuff. So if going full insane mode is your speed, pick Yoshi. The only grappler in this game currently is King, so if you like doing 80% of your opponent's health for one throw, King is your guy. And that's everyone. Hopefully now you can pick your main and start cooking in ranked.
Remember at any time when you feel like you've gotten good enough, you can always revisit these guys that I told you not to use straight away at the start of the video because they're all very good. Also, if you feel like a style doesn't match how you want to play, use this video to pick someone else. Easy. Now go out there and challenge Arsenal Ash and win. I, I don't know, something inspirational.